it is playoff time once again for the Detroit Lions, which feels nice to say. We've made the playoffs in back-to-back -back years, and we had a first-round bye. See the current playoff bracket in the NFC? It's the Lions and the Panthers. That's our matchup today. And then Cowboys-Packers. Of course, we've seen the Packers quite a bit in this franchise series. Chiefs, Colts, and Patriots, Jaguars. We don't want to worry about any of those right now, though. We want to focus on the task at hand, which is defeating the Carolina Panthers, headlined by, of course, Christian McCaffrey, Brian Burns. I mean, he's a 99 overall superstar X Factor at this point. He's got 99 finesse moves. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. So we're going to have to watch out for that. DJ Moore, Dante Jackson, Hassan Reddick still sticking around. Who is their quarterback, though? This is a good question. You guys remember Junior Wallace? We did a whole big thing about him in the draft. Only 86 speed, though. Might be able to exploit that. But Sam Darnold is still their quarterback. He's actually not terrible. He's playing up to an 82. His accuracies are pretty good. Yeah, he really isn't super bad in this. But hopefully we manage to defeat them nonetheless. We've gotten some wonky games recently, and of course, it's the playoffs. It's one and done. You lose, you're going home. So we cannot afford to lose today. Trying to make a deep playoff run. Trying to win the first Super Bowl in Detroit Lions history. Now, they do have plenty of NFL championships before the Super Bowl even existed. But we're not worried about that. We're worried about the Lombardi Trophy winning the Super Bowl and hopefully we get to do that today need the team to stay healthy though the defense is super important and they are all healthy the offense I think less important because we have so much talent but they are all healthy as well and as you guys know Richie Owens is still suspended for one more game so we are without him today as well Today's video is sponsored by Fetch Rewards. It's an app you can download, and whenever you go shopping, you can just simply scan the receipt with your phone, and the best part is it works with literally any retail receipt. Let me show you how it works. Love that it isn't just limited to mainstream stores and supermarkets. It works literally anywhere. The goal is to get free rewards like Visa or Amazon gift cards. It's a free app, so you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Now, it doesn't even matter how long the receipt is either. If it's a super long receipt, it will just stitch the two pictures together for you. After that, you'll hit submit and you'll get points back to save money on almost anything you can think of. Check out the rewards section. You get something at Amazon or Best Buy or basically anything you can think of. And if you're an online shopper, it's actually somehow even easier to scan receipts. You just hit the little E button on your phone and it'll scan your email for eligible receipts and you get coupon points back. So get started yourself via the link in the description. Use code BANGLE to get 3,000 points for free when you scan your first receipt. Again, that's the first link in the description and use code BANGLE to get started today. Big upgrades though for the squad. We'll start with our highest overall of the bunch. It's Russ Clemens. I've been doing a lot of speed rusher for him because I figure power moves is already so high. I think getting finesse moves into the 80s would be very, very good for his game overall. Plus two finesse moves, plus two pursuit as well, which could be quite nice. He's becoming a very, very good, very balanced player. BJ Dickerson, don't want to blow this. We want to finish strong and keep upgrading him to reach his full potential. Uh, the climax of his abilities. His man and zone are pretty good, but I think I still want to go into zone just to get that into the 90s. So I am going to focus on zone today. Let's do that. He goes up to an 89 overall. And plus one zone coverage is fine. Nothing spectacular. Tyrone Wilbur, I want to continue to do pass coverage. As he now fits the scheme fit of field general, I believe. Plus one man zone acceleration and play rec. And then Jamie Allridge continues to be the starting right tackle. We'll upgrade the power aspect of his game. And he goes up to a 78. Plus two run block is quite nice. It's only a 74 still. And then, of course, kind of the crown jewel of the collection at this point. Rookie superstar X Factor, Raphael Wilkinson. He's pretty amazing. The short route running could be better. The spectacular could be better. So that makes a ton of sense for physical to me. To upgrade those things. He fits the scheme fit now as his main archetype. And we get plus two release, plus one short, 
plus one spectacular catch plus two trucking is interesting plus one jumping as well trucking goes up to what 61 that's pretty low it's pretty low 89 to their 82 divisional round of the playoffs let's come away with a win the panthers and sam darnold will start with the football we are actually in and then, well, we're going to get an interception to start. Sam Darnold right to Amani Warrior. What a start. Touchdown, Lions. Wow. I was going to talk about how we were in the actual Lions uniforms in real life here that we very seldomly wear. It's kind of like an alternate uni at this point for us. But I didn't even have time to say that. Sam Darnold throws behind DJ Moore. Or Warrior steps in front and gets six. Pick six for Amani or Warrior. And we're going to go up by a touchdown on the very first play of the game. 7-0 Lions. Full momentum. What a start. Read option with Sam Darnold. Cameron Ford takes him out. I mean, you're not, you can't run read option. <laughs> yes, Sam Darnold. I mean, Eric Hudson had no idea who had the football, but thankfully Cam Ford... Playing in the flat, came down easily, made the play. Pretty good 67 touchdown season for Paul Garrison. Yeah, the uh, high-powered offense got a little bit too high-powered at times for the realism of the franchise. But that's okay. We started uh, getting the right tweaks, and I think we have a pretty good experience right now as Rashad Reese will have a very long seven-yard run. A lot of east-west action going on there as we'll get a look at the offense for the first time. Our defense is super, super good, so I want to lean on them and just let them make stops and, and just take what's available on offense. We find Chris Godwin for the first. It's going to be nice to get Richie Owens back next episode, though. But we are still uh, trying to work without him, as we'll get it to Chris Godwin. And it's just the two routes ran way too close to each other. And we really couldn't get the type of separation that was required in order to make that play work. Let's run play action. Second and 10. Saw that safety coming up. Wilkinson wide open across the field. What's it? Let's look at the 61 trucking. Not too good. But uh, gave it a shot. Oh no, TJ Hawkinson is, is down. Looked like he was grabbing his hip. Hopefully he's not like an old man with a broken hip. That's pretty much a case closed there. But we'll go to Tyler Higby. Case closed, by the way, is what I meant by he's going to... It's like a death certificate. But uh, hopefully he's good to go. Tyler Higby will take his place for the time being as we'll run on third and short. Rashad Reese has the speed. Hit that gap and move the chains. We have momentum. If we can hold on to momentum... Leg cramps. He'll be fine. If we can hold on to momentum, we're going to win the game. Because these momentum abilities are so strong. Home team has a greatly reduced fumble chance. That doesn't really do much to me. All the way field goal or point after attempt kicks use the ice kicker effect. I don't think that does anything for the CPU. And we accelerate slightly faster. I guess we don't have super big offensive bonuses. And I don't know. I guess momentum really doesn't matter too much at Ford Field. But it matters a lot at other places. I guess I just didn't know that it doesn't really matter here. We're all out with Garrison. And Brian Burns is just so fast. Probably should have thrown it away there. And by probably, I mean definitely. Gotta not be stupid and just let it fly. So TJ Hawkinson is back on the field, by the way. Third and 17. We're pretty much just playing for the field goal. But DeAndre Swift is open. Has a step on Shaq Thompson. And it's a touchdown. That play is so awesome. No one ever accounts for the running back out of the backfield, whether it's Rashad Reese, whether it's DeAndre Swift. We've just been able to find them and get big points the entire season. That's been a huge play for us. That's why DeAndre Swift had like six or seven receiving touchdowns during the season. No one can ever account for the shiftiness, the sneakiness, and the speed of either DeAndre Swift or Rashad Reese. 14-0 in favor of our Detroit Lions, the hometown heroes, and the Panthers trying to fight to stay in this playoff game. If not, they're going home. Surprised they haven't tried to get Christian McCaffrey going a little bit more. There he goes, but he's not going anywhere. That's Richard Russell making a nice tackle. A lot of trust in the team here. 
We are running cover zero, sending everybody, and they got the football out quickly. That's pretty much what happened there. It's third and five. Opportunity to get a stop, obviously. And I mean, they're throwing the ball. So, you just got to play good coverage. And that is exactly that. Jeff Okuda hit him from behind and he couldn't secure the catch. Big time stop by the defense again. Looks like we're going to roll over this team just better. I think we're really going to try to establish the run this drive. We had something there. I needed to cut it back upfield probably. It's just hard to do that in the moment. You wouldn't think, but I feel like it is. It's tough for these backs out here. A little change of direction. And that's not too bad. Sets up a running opportunity on third and short. We could also send Rashad Reese in like a Texas route out of the backfield and put Wilkinson on a drag across formation. Can always scramble if we need to. And let's go to the back, Rashad Reese. Just take the easy yardage. If they want to leave that open, we'll take it. Third and 11. This concept looks familiar. Back leaking out of the backfield, trying to get open. Now, I'm going to want to streak Hawkinson. I think we probably would want man coverage here. But they're in zone. And we're going to take a shot up the seam. It's TJ Hawkinson. Big stiff arm. Extra yardage. The safety just showed his hand too early. He was leaking down to the flat. Buzzing down. And I just left it. TJ wide open. Easy yardage. We'll take that every time. 37 yards by the big tight end, who hopefully will stay healthy. Of course, had leg cramps where he missed a couple of plays, but he's back now and looking better than ever. Third and two. Who is the superstar they have on Reese? Looks like they're in zone. She's going to throw to Rashad Reese. Again, we're going to take what you give us. We don't need to score in one play. We've seen that plenty of times over the course of this past season, and it's obviously been a really effective way for us to move the ball, but we have a two-touchdown lead. Now it's time to just take time off the clock while remaining effective. We're not just going to run into, you know, no yard just for the sake of running, but we're going to do slow and steady and continue to try and, you know, move down the field methodically. But now it is third and six. I like Rashad Reese on that little whip route. I could even like the Raphael Wilkinson high point fade. We'll see what type of separation we have. We're going to throw it up. Wilkinson! They just got no animation, man. I mean, I uh, throwing the fade sometimes, like sometimes it's awesome, but sometimes you don't get anything because this makes no sense. We throw a, a freaking jump ball and then, you know, you press the triangle to aggressive catch and go up and get it, and there's just nothing. It's just, it, that's why I hate this current engine in Madden. It's like Frostbite, I think it's called. Where, uh, it's just, uh, like, I don't want to say, it's not a, like preconceived notions, because that's like things that you think before actually, you know, getting to it. But it's like pre, uh, pre-decided plays. Where that was always going to be an interception as soon as I threw it, we never even had a chance. Which is obviously really annoying. Just stupid. It's just, I don't like the pre-decided plays. I want to see what happens. I don't want everything to be super animation-based. And everything is. I hate it. Oh, wow. What a move by McCaffrey. That's crazy. I mean, he juked out the CPU. <laughs> oh, and he can't make the tackle. Davidson finally does. I think it was Cameron Ford. Just a smaller corner against the big tight end, David Njoku. That'll happen one-on-one -on, -one on the sideline from, from time to time. Let's start on Njoku and then work over to McCaffrey. Okay, so when we had the freaking safety cross manned up and David Njoku breaking more tackles. Dude's looking like prime Gronk right now. What's happening? It's a run? I mean, how do we not make the tackle in the gap there? Kershaw McCaffrey, too elusive. We had an opportunity. Braxton Turner right in the hole. Christian McCaffrey just made a miss. And this is what the Carolina offense should be doing. Not trying to pass the ball. It's clear that we are much better in that department. But just feed Christian McCaffrey as Turner makes a nice tackle that time. Thrown to the end zone. And that was a touchdown. Sam Darnold throws it 
slightly long of DJ Moore. He was definitely open underneath the corner back there. Tried to turn around and make a play with Imani. But uh, thankfully, it was a bad throw. And Darnold has time. He's going to the end zone again. And that is caught, but out of bounds. What an attempt. Thankfully, just short. And this is the ice attempt. Again, I don't think it matters with the CPU. I don't think this is going to be a miss. They make this every time. Kick is up and good right down the middle. Doesn't affect them. Carolina on the board, though. We still have the lead 14-3. Let's try to extend it. Bad red zone interception. Need to come away with points there. But, uh, you know, it can't happen every time. Long drive by Carolina. And we got to be better. That was the first time our defense just let them work down the field. First time they really started getting the ball to Christian McCaffrey. I think the two are probably correlated. Underneath to Wilkinson. Give me a block, DeAndre. Take a nice little stiff arm. I want to figure out a way to get big time extra yardage. But it seems to be pretty difficult. Like, you'll throw it to a receiver and it's like pretty much first time that contact happens, they're going down. It would just be nice to get a little bit of variance. Because on certain sliders, you'll never break a tackle. And on other sliders, you're like, always break a tackle. We're going deep here. It's, it ended up being like triple coverage. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Let's run the ball. Reese up the middle. Good blocks. Just take the first. Don't have to get too crazy. Work and play action. I like Godwin there. A little bit too far down the field. But Godwin has the hands to catch that in traffic. 99 catch in traffic. I would expect him to hold on to that. And that brings up the two-minute warning as we approach the end of half number one. And Raphael Wilkinson's injured after a DeAndre Swift run. See, this is the problem. Because now we have, you know, no depth at the position because of Richie Owens being injured. And we're in a really tough spot. Throw a little bubble to Rashad Reese. Chris Godwin, of course, can't block before the ball is caught. And Raphael Wilkinson has dislocated his knee. He is out for the game and maybe more. Amon Ross St. Brown will have to step into a big role, and that, of course, brings up the opportunity for Rasad Riley to play even more. And there he is. The undrafted free agent superstar is on the field in the playoffs. And we don't know how long we're going to be without Raphael Wilkinson. To be determined. That doesn't sound good. Third and 11. We got Godwin. One-on-one. -on -one. I like my odds. Chris Godwin got two down. I saw that corner hang down in the flat playing on Asad Riley. That was a mistake. You had one-on-one. -on -one. Chris Godwin on a corner. Good blocking with Panay Sewell on the edge there. And big-time touchdown. Godwin uses the size. Wallace was never going to make a play. Big touchdown. 21-3. Pretty much going into the half. I mean, maybe Carolina has enough time to get points on the board. Their offense really hasn't been too dynamic over the course of this game so far. They haven't had a ton of time with the football either. They might have under five minutes total possession time out of the first 20. So we'll see what they can do here. One drive, a minute and 17 seconds, three timeouts to do something. See what happens. And it's picked off by Okuda. One-on-one, -on -one, and Jeff Okuda makes another great play. Earlier in the flat with a pass breakup on third down. And now, to end the first half, to give us a chance to score again, he makes a big-time play. Takes the football away, and now we can score. This could realistically be 28-3. Oh, no, I've seen that score before. 28-3 is never good. Unless you know how to uh, properly manage the clock, which I think we can in the second half. We're going deep. Rashad Reese, do you have the wheels? And he caught it. That's a deep threat we missed. When's the last time Rashad Reese went vertical from the slot? That's a mismatch. That's a mismatch. Great ball from Garrison over the top. And Rashad Reese was just going to run by him. Jeremy Chin is really athletic. Garrison, perfect ball. Can't ask for any better than that. Rashad Reese just ran by him. Foot race won. Touchdown acquired. And that was just by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Shout out Jeremy. It was really close, but great ball from Garrison. And it is 28 to 3 to end the first half. Darnold airing it out deep, short of the end zone. And that is incomplete. First half is over. We played great. 
really no complaints other than the big injury to Raphael Wilkinson, which could affect the entirety of our playoffs. Absolutely hate that. But, uh, man, it is what it is. Got to keep, got to keep going. Got to keep grinding. Next man up. Big play, Chris Godwin. Found him over the middle. Didn't think that was going to be as explosive as it ended up being. Garrison already at 250. And that is a nice way to start the third quarter as we get the football. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of running the football, I imagine. Just grinding for hard yardage. We're probably not going to fumble with that, with that uh, momentum ability. Home team has a greatly reduced fumble chance. We aren't going to fumble. Just going to keep running the ball into the ground and move the chains underneath. I mean, we had DeAndre Swift as well. I think I trust Rashad Reese a little bit more in the receiving game, though. Look at the speed of Rashad Reese. One-on-one. -on -one, made a miss. Reese re-accelerating. Fighting the end zone. And he's just short. What a run by Rashad Reese nonetheless, though. 30 yards, maybe? Look at the speed. I mean, that's the one thing that DeAndre Swift really doesn't offer. Diving attempt made by Hassan Reddick. Nice juke in space there to fool Jeremy Chin. And then a game-saving or touchdown-saving tackle made by, of course, former top 10 pick J.C. Horn. Up the middle, DeAndre Swift. They're going for the football. Loses a yard. Up the middle, Reese. That's a touchdown. Juwan Bentley injured for Carolina. That is a... I mean, that's a dag already, right? 35-3, it's over. That's a big run. That's McCaffrey. Lumberjack, all right, we went through him. Uh, so these jukes are just going to kill us. <laughs> Russ Clemens saves the tackle. Christian McCaffrey's a problem. I know that much already. That's going to be... That's just going to be the case. Up the middle. Wilbur going after him. Can we... What happened there? Throw away. They're, they might get three. Run up the middle. That's a touchdown. All right. Well, this is not the beginning of a comeback. No, please. I know what you're thinking. How is Bengal going to blow this? He's not. He's not. Good block on the edge. Swift, have a little bit more speed. I tried to get the stiff arm out there. It's a good run, though. Tell me we won't send Rashad Reese deep. Tell me. What's that free safety going to do about it? I mean, you can't get more open than DeAndre Swift right here. Make a miss. Make a miss, DeAndre. That's trash. DeAndre Swift has a little bit of space. They're going for the football. And now Amon Ross St. Brown is Amon Ross St. Down. Sorry about that. Uh, wow. We are getting decimated. Tyler Higby is now lining up at receiver. This is where we are. This is a bad spot to be. That is not good. Bruce Sturdum, he is out for the game. He'll be back next week, thankfully. Look at these receivers. I mean, I guess it's not so bad if Rashad Reese is a receiver. But man, I, that's... We're getting decimated by injuries in this one. Third and ten. Last play of the third quarter. Who's getting open? Dude, what is that animation? I just got locked in doing, doing one of these. Doing some shoulder warm-ups. And Brian Burns gets a sack. We're going to try a field goal here to start the fourth quarter. A uh, little bit annoying end to the third quarter for sure. But 38-10, to 10, really can't complain right now. Throwing out Okuda again. It's another interception. Okuda has space. We got a block from Eric Hudson. We're pitching it back to Oruwariye. <laughs> oh, Jeff Okuda. Have a day. Tried to turn that into a huge play. Going for the TD. But uh, what a play by Jeff Okuda nonetheless, even though we couldn't get six on it. Love to see it. First and goal. Good block. Rashad Reese, he just doesn't have the power. That's not his game. That's not his game. Now, we could try to make some type of a juke there. But we're going to go straight right back up the middle inside zone. Get DeAndre Swift to lower the shoulder. Touchdown. That's it. That's it. It is over you know what the difference in this game is it's the three interceptions from sam darnold like yeah you could just take off 21 points and obviously be it'll be a close game but we've had such great field positioning 
for at least two touchdowns. I think we have three touchdowns off turnovers so far. Two Okuda interceptions. The Oruwarie pick six to start the game. It really hasn't even been just our offense going off in this one. We've had either great field positioning or defensive points. Like, without those, how close is this game? Maybe very, but if, 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 it, uh, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, every day would be Christmas, and Christmas was two days ago. So, doesn't work. I barely got that out. I struggle with that, as that's a, a whole lot of space. Dude, I got Lumberjack. Does that work? Let me hit stick low. He's not going to fumble anyway. I got to take that ability off. It's trash. They're going deep. I mean, what are you really doing? This game sucks. It sucks. I mean, I press triangle as the ball's coming in, and it just doesn't do anything. What's the point? That's going to be a touchdown. DJ Moore too fast. Oh, he's going to be just short. <laughs> Takes more time off the clock. I'm in favor of that. Throw an end zone. Got it. Russ Clemens is injured now? Dude, there's been like one Panther who's been injured this game, and they're just taking out all of my stars. Raphael Wilkinson gone. Russ Clemens gone. Then they got Amon Ross St. Brown. I don't have anything left. I don't have anything. Dislocated elbow. For Russ Clemens, Trey Flowers will take his place. Can we just keep our things located? Stop dislocating them. We got a dislocated knee. Now we got a dislocated elbow. I want things to be located properly. DeAndre Swift with space. DeAndre Swift with speed. That is a big run, although not a breakaway run. Swift now just a yard shy of the century mark of 100. Third and six at this point in the game. We are just going to run. Don't care about the result, really. We're just taking time off the clock. Reset 87 yards, by the way. I think there's a world where we have 200-yard rushers in this game. Swift is just over 100. Reese is closing in on it. Try a long field goal with Tyler Bass. And that one is good. Right down the middle has the leg. And it's 48-17 Lions. Darnold airing it out. And that one is somehow caught in front of Cam Ford. Robbie Anderson has done it again. This guy. Darnold with all day. All day. Of course he's going to find somebody. Huge hit Tarek Davidson. But yeah, we've been talking about this earlier, right? Um, if the queen had ball, she'd be king. Yeah, but if you take away the three touchdowns we had off turnovers, you know, we're under 30 right now. Under 30 points. This would be close, so thankfully not. That's a touchdown. It's it's over still. It's, it's over. Don't even worry about it. Robbie Anderson touchdown. They ran a slant. What do you want? 48-24. We have double their points. Well, we didn't get the onside. I guess I kind of thought they would give up and not onside kick it. I tried to audible to onside recovery. I clicked it on the screen. It didn't do anything. And they have the ball. Throw to McCaffrey. All right, I guess that's open too. I just... I oh mean, if they score 30 points, I'm going to be annoyed. Because we just kind of just let them. We just gave it to them. They're going to the end zone. There's the interception. See, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Intercepted by Cameron Ford. Love to see it. And that's game. Last play of the game is a run. Would be nice to get 100 yards rushing, but we're going to be 12 yards shy. And that is your game. The Lions are moving on to the NFC Championship game. 48-24 over the Panthers. It was just Sam Darnold not being uh, careful with the football. They needed to run a lot more to Christian McCaffrey, and they didn't. Obviously, a pretty good game from Paul Garrison. Only four incompletions, one of them being an interception to um, whoever caught it. I don't even remember. <laughs> but uh, we're going for Wilkinson, who is injured. That's so frustrating. And then, of course, we have Sam Darnold just giving us the football. Four interceptions, rushing DeAndre Swift over 100. Rashad Reese had a very good game. I mean, nearly 200 rushing yards for the team. Really awesome to see. Both had a touchdown as well. McCaffrey averaged well over 10 yards per carry. He only got nine of them. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Robbie Anderson killed us. And then offensively, didn't do anything too crazy. Touchdown for Rashad Reese over the top. 
touchdown for Chris Godwin, touchdown for DeAndre Swift. Pretty good numbers. The, the injury could kill us. And then defensively, of course, didn't really get a ton of pressure, didn't really bring anyone down on the backfield. No sacks, two tackles for loss, but four interceptions for the team, including two for Jeff Okuda, who I think had a very, very nice game. Of course, touchdown for Monty Warwarie as well. Thankfully, we will be getting Richie Owens back for the NFC Championship after his suspension. But as you can see, okay. Russ Clemens out for three weeks. JC Treader remains out for three weeks. Raphael Wilkinson out for three weeks. So two of our best players on the entire team will be missing the rest of the playoffs. Might be back for Super Bowl week. We'll see if they can play through those games. But man, that is a huge loss. They might be back for the Super Bowl if we make it that far. But man, that is brutal. Richie Owens is back and ready to go, though. We are going to need him to play big in this game against the Dallas Cowboys. Rod God, I'm going to give him ankle breaker, by the way. I think that could be a lot of fun. And, um, yeah. I, actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe yak him up would be better. We'll try it. And what can you say, man? Unfortunate that the injuries we faced are the injuries we faced, but it is what it is. Got to continue to play our best game and... We've been playing well. Just got to continue. That's all I can say. But man, will it be nice to have Richie Owens back. Finally returning. And we have we have something special here. Richie's a good player. Just need to keep him on the field. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Two wins away from our ultimate goal. Let's win a Super Bowl. It's insane. I hit at the park. Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.